Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I, uh, I'm doing a video, a little different video this time. Um, I had the uh, pleasure, um, and truly, I was blessed uh, last, late last week when I was in a uh, local grocery store, and I met a gentleman who had a Michigan hat on and Michigan colors, University of Michigan colors, and, and I said to him, I said, not only a handsome guy, but a guy who knows how to dress so well. And, and, uh, and you know, because I'm a huge Michigan fan as well. So we, uh, we ended up standing and talking for quite some time um, in, uh, in the aisle. And as my wife was uh, taking care of the groceries and uh, you know how us guys are. So in the middle of that conversation, um, I had mentioned that I was a Christian. And uh, he was a Christian as well. And towards the end of the conversation, he had asked me to pray for his wife. So that's what I wanted to do this video about. So I want you to come back and I want you to hear about this wonderful story. And I want, to, I want you to hear um, about all the wonderful people that helped me do this video. So make sure you come on back. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. I want to um, welcome all of you who have never been on my channel to uh, Sharing the Word of God, uh, where we uplift and we encourage everyone, and we always keep our hearts, our minds, and our eyes set on God. Uh, earlier when I said I met this wonderful guy at a grocery store and he had asked me to pray for his wife, Sharice, he had told me that she was just diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And the first reaction, you know, you, you your, your breath is just kind of taken away. But then God takes over. And if you're a true believer in God, you know that our God can do anything. And so as I left the store with my wife, I, I couldn't help but continue to think about John and, and his wife and just how wonderful of a human being he was. And, and just how much you can just see how much love that he has for his wife. And yes, you're supposed to have love for your wife, but it's not like that in our world today. Uh, I, I find it hard to find many people that love uh, their wives the way I do. I just cherish my wife and I do everything in the world for her. Um, but meeting John, I could just see it in his smile. I could see it in his eyes that he has just such a huge passion for his wife. And that's, that's awesome. Um, so I, I wanted to put this video together and I wanted to, um, I wanted to put a smile on Sharice's face. I mean, this is someone who has been a correctional officer for 17 years. And, and I asked, I asked John, you know, can you tell me some special qualities about your wonderful wife? And, you know, he just, he says that she's just a loving wife. Um, he said that she is an awesome mother and even better grandmother. Um, he said that she is an incredible singer, uh, a very caring person, cares for even strangers even more, which is a wonderful thing. And she's always smiling, which you can see in the picture that I'm going to put on this video, that both of them have just smiles that will light up a room. And he says she has a beautiful smile and that she always is trying to get others to smile as well. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to share a video to the both of them. I wanted to make a video for the both of them. And so what I did is I contacted a lot of my friends here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I found myself in tears because I had asked them to put a video, a short video together to let know, to let Sharice know that we care and that we love her and that we know God is going to do everything that he can for her and, and that God can do all things. And they have agreed to do videos for me. So I want you to all to enjoy these videos that were made specifically for Sharice. So Sharice, I know you're watching this with John and I wanted to dedicate, well, obviously this whole video to you, but I wanted to dedicate all these videos from people all around the world who are thinking of you at this moment who love you, who have you in their prayers. So I hope you really enjoy this. Hey, it's Tyler from California. Just wanted to let you know we're praying for you. Keep up the hard work. I know cancer is not a fun thing, 
but you got this. God bless. Hello, Sharice. My name is Tara. You are so brave for sharing your story. You are an inspiration and an encouragement to so many people. I hope that you're able to get settled into a routine quickly that is very comfortable. And I just want to say during this time, don't be afraid to lean on your family and friends. Allow them a time and opportunity to serve you and love you during this difficult time. And don't give up on this fight. This is God's way of just adding to your testimony. We have you in our prayers. We love you so much. We're definitely thinking about you. Please. God bless you, Sharice. My name is Lee, and I am a friend of Chuck. And he informed me that you are in need of prayer. Listen, if I know anything, I know that prayer changes things. So in the back of your mind, just know that somewhere in Pennsylvania, you have a brother praying on your behalf. I pray that God works everything out for your good. God bless. Hello, Sharice. Thank My you. name is Nushka, and I just want you to know that I am praying for you, sister. I know you are going through a hard time right now, and I just want you to know that God is on your side no matter what. I am going to be praying on this scripture every single day for you, and I'm going to make sure that I pour out to God, and I know that in binding in prayer, He will hear us, and He will work in your life as He sees fit. This is the psalm I'm going to be praying for you. Psalm 34, 20. The Lord will sustain you on your sickbed, okay? He will heal your illness. He will restore your health. I am believing in him to do just that for you. So I just want you to know that I'm binding with all of your friends and family in prayer. And I pray in Jesus' name that you become healed. And I know he can do amazing things. So just know that I'm here. I'm praying for you. And I'm hey, Chuck, you. thanks for reaching out. Um, I want your friend to know that we are we're praying for her. We believe in a God who is our healer. We believe in a God that is bigger than our problems or our circumstances and our thoughts. And our prayers are with you through these days. Hello, hello. my name is Sylvia Dumont. And I'm here today to share this word with you, Sirius, and to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, know that you are loved, know that you are special, you are blessed. And I know that you are going through this hard time and you may feel alone, you may feel that nobody cares. But I tell you this, that anything that you are going through, you are not alone, the Lord is with you. If you have already given your life to Jesus, he knows exactly what you are going through. He went through the pain, the agony, when he came and he nailed, he was nailed on the cross, he died on the cross for you and me. And because because of his death, you can see a bright future. And Lord, I know that you are going through pain, and I know what you are going through, and I'm praying for you. I'm praying, my dear Sharice, that the Lord will help you to endure. The Lord will give you strength, and by his stripes you are healed. And I speak into your life, I speak into your body, in the name of Jesus, that you be made whole, you be made healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is bothering you, anything that is attacking your body, any sickness, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus has paid it all on the cross for your, for your healing, for your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you, Sherry, today. Know that we love you. We are praying for you. We are standing with you in prayer, in faith, that no matter what you are going to be strong in the Lord. Know that He has your back. The, you are surrounded with angels. You are surrounded with the Holy Spirit. The presence of God is with you. What the enemy meant for evil, the glory, the name, and the glory, and Jesus will be glorified. The name of Jesus will be glorified and be praised through your life. Even in these difficult moments, remember to spend time with God every single time. Continue to praise Him. Continue to give Him glory, to give Him honor for His, the life that He has given you because you are so blessed. You are chosen. It doesn't matter what, is, what you are going through. It doesn't matter the pain. Know that you are never alone. You are never alone. You were created for a purpose. You were created for a purpose. And I pray that the Lord will encourage you this morning. Morning. The Lord will give you joy. The Lord will give you strength to continue to fight this battle. You are not alone. You will never have to be alone. We care for you. We are praying for you. And I believe the Lord will give you the grace. We give you the strength. We love you so much. We love you. And we know that the Lord will continue to work in your life. Be strong, Sharice. Be encouraged today that you have a family. Even though I don't know you, I am praying for you. You are my sister. And I know that the Lord will see you through. The Lord will strengthen you and keep you under his wings, under his arms. 
I love you there, Cherise. Have a nice day. Bye. Good morning, Risi. My name is David Just. I'm a singer from South Africa, I'm currently staying in, in Houston. And a friend of mine, Chuck, just asked me to send you a song of encouragement. And uh, this is most probably one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a song called I Surrender All. It's an old hymn. So I just pray that as I sing, that you'll be touched and that you'll be encouraged this morning as you just surrender all to Jesus. that you were blessed and uh, just pray for the peace of God just to be your portion this morning and uh, if we never get the chance to meet I know hopefully one day we'll meet in heaven so God bless you Risi and uh, run the race run the race with the faith in your heart look to Jesus and just surrender to him God bless you now it's my turn so I want to just take a minute to let you know that since I met your amazing husband, you have been in my thoughts and prayers every single day. My wife and daughter and I are praying for you. And, you know, we're not feeling down because we know that you're a fighter, but we know God and we know that God can do all things and we know he does wonderful things and we know he has a plan for you. And I wanted you to know that we love you and that we are really pulling for you. And then if there's anything you need, you can always give me a call and I will do everything I possibly can. But just know that we are all praying for you. I mean, those wonderful videos came from literally around the world and they took the time because they have wonderful hearts. They are wonderful, wonderful people. And I'm gonna put all their information in the um, descriptions down below. And if you have a moment, check out their channels because they are just, they're truly my family, truly my friends. And uh, like I said, when I watch their videos, uh, it choked me up a little bit because this is what we need in our world. We need to treat everybody like a Sharice. And, um, but today this is for you, Sharice, and we love you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. John, keep being that wonderful husband. Keep being that great guy. And... I hope that both of you are Michigan fans. <laughs> so we love you. God bless.